Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for Sunday, June 17th. This is for all signs. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This is what the end. This is what I'm picking up on today. Okay, this may or may not resonate resonate with you. Take what does and leave the rest. June seventeenth. There's transformation here. Somebody is going through a transformation, but they may be pro prolonging it, okay? Something is going on. Um, somebody is going through a transition, but you may be still a little bit insecure about this forward movement, okay? But you really do need to be, a, be open to it. Be open to it. Follow your intuition. Let me just shut this phone off. Um, yes, yeah, somebody's somebody's intuition is leading them down a new path, okay? And it feels like you're you're starting to come out of the darkness. You're starting to see the light. You're starting to feel better about yourself and things, you know. Because in, and you're being asked to keep moving, keep taking steps in that new direction, but you fear it. I think that you're you're fearing this new direction. Um, it's like there's been a, a loss of direction and now, you know, you've come to this conclusion that you have to take the steps, okay? I see like that somebody is transitioning. They're starting to be open to, to new possibilities. Um, this is a very intense time, at, you know, right now. Your intuition is absolutely nudging you to go down a new road you know, but there's fear. Fear is holding you back. So, you know, I feel as though right now somebody is really developing their new perspective through intuition okay it's developing and it's developing pretty quickly i think it is maybe it's it's developing so fast that, that it's really scaring you okay so i do see a new beginning here i do um right around the corner there's a new beginning something is ending and i think it's a phase i think it's a phase in your life that a phase of of darkness you know a a period of darkness that you've been struggling with and now you're going to have to face your fears and and go with it instead of resisting it somebody has been resisting this change but it's like i i i have to i have my i have to do it i have to i have to so um because your intuition is, is really really poking you yes it's time to go yes be strong accept this truth you know it is. You know, that's what your intuition is like, really, really giving you signs that are saying something is over, okay? Whatever it is, something is over. That death card is an ending. And your intuition knows what this is, okay? And it's intense. It definitely is intense because it may not be something that you want to let go of, that you want to end. I mean, that's what it looks like. But there has been a period of darkness surrounding this situation, okay? Yeah, it is over. Something is ending. And, it, and it's big. It's caused a lot of conflict in your life. And, you know, it's caused a lot of hurt, whatever this is. A lot of hurt. It's like emptiness, the situation that you've been left in or, or staying in has made you feel almost like 
dead inside, whatever it is, uh, you know, and now it feels like you, you haven't been, you've been, you haven't been able to put in any effort to moving forward or much, not much effort, maybe a little, not much. And you know, that's when the universe will come in and give you that kick in the pants when you're, when you're, you know, when you're at rock bottom. So I think somebody has hit rock bottom in a situation and there's no place to go but up. Okay. Somebody is going to decide to start investing in themselves, start investing in the future. Okay. Somebody is starting to recognize their truth. Okay. And it feels as though there's been a lot of unexpected conflict by hanging on to this past. There's been conflict, period, and unexpected conflict. And there's definitely a lot of fears, a lot of fears of following your intuition. It's big. It's big fear to follow my intuition. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, I, I fear it, but I know that I need to. I know something is over, but I lack the mastery to move on, to move forward. Although I, I'm starting to see the light. I'm starting to see that this, this was very insecure and unstable. I'm starting to see that. But, you know, it feels like I'm, I'm really, really scared to go my own way you know somebody is afraid to follow their own path and I don't know why I don't know why 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 would you be afraid to follow your intuition you know and to stick up for yourself and to do what's right for you I mean why would you be afraid of that what you know there's somebody has completely lost their direction in life and this this needs to happen to to move them forward anyway I want to get this zoomed in before I keep going um or focused, whatever you want to call it. Um, there's a new beginning here in which somebody is being called to take action, follow their intuition, invest in themselves, put themselves first, progress forward, um, move forward. Uh, find that confidence and that courage to take the steps and that you need to take. Don't let other people bring you down. You could be dealing with somebody that, you know, doesn't see your worth, doesn't doesn't care about what only cares about themselves. Okay, doesn't care about your path. This person is. I think there is another person in the mix that you've been holding on to that doesn't serve you. So, and I'm not sure if it's a person or a situation, but there is. Somebody is afraid of the conflict that it will bring to step onto their new path. So I feel as though this period of, isn't working for you. This, this, this period of stalling and not moving forward from something that is ending, it really isn't working for you. It's not. There's, 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 there's nothing left there. There's no more growth there. So there's really no reason to stay there. And that's why this transformation is happening. Somebody is transforming out of a difficult period, starting to see their worth, starting to see, you know, where they can go, starting to believe in themselves again. Their intuition has been really, really, really nudging them. You may have been seeing signs, uh, having vivid dreams or just hearing things within yourself or maybe it's just an inner knowing knowing that it's time to move on somebody knows that it is absolutely time to move on and they've been procrastinating but today or tomorrow or next week could be the time when you absolutely decide to step onto that new path and face your fears okay I'm no longer going to just talk the talk I am going to walk the walk because somebody's just been talking the talk and it feels as though they decide to to do it. I am going to do it. I'm going to do it. So I feel like whatever this is, this is great progress. Okay. It's great, great progress towards your own victory and success. Your intuition is trying to progress you forward. That's what's going on. So listen, listen to your gut, listen to what you're hearing, pay attention to the signs, pay attention to your dreams. Okay. Um, it feels as though you are, you're seeing situations clearly but 
in the past, you were staying in a dead end. You were staying in a dead end situation. You've come to this conclusion that, no, I need to come out of this darkness. I need to take steps that are for me. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm about to go on that new path. So I think that somebody has a new beginning right in front of them. And because they have decided to see the light, they've decided to accept the messages that they're receiving and progress forward. I see that um, I am going to invest in myself and do what's right for me at this time because I know, I know, I know that is what I need to do. We're going to get you one of my favorite oracle cards. You know I use this deck all the time. If you'd like a private reading, you can send me an email. The information is below. I am going to join up with Vimeo. And I'm going to have six month spreads uh, coming out soon. And you will have to pay for those. But it's going to be July through December. Six month spread. Um, by the end of June, those will all be out. And I will share the links with you. I may do a live feed tonight. If you're not subscribed, you might want to hit that bell so that you can be notified when I come on. I may. I'm thinking about it. A live feed on YouTube. These won't be readings. They would be... You know, chats, a live feed chat. We talk. We talk about a topic or two. Cleanse. Perfect. Your body, mind, and soul are urging you to take time out for some much needed cleansing. Just as you wash your car, clean the house, or tidy your office, your body also needs care and attention. It's time for spiritual, emotional, and physical cleansing. It's time to let go of this past that you've been hanging on to and step into your truth that you know is right in front of you. I have to show you what's on the bottom. Self-sabotage. When you learn to get out of your own way, there will be no stopping you. Most of the time, it's not others who prevent you from achieving your true goals. It's that inner voice that derails those carefully woven plans. Your inner voice is talking to you. It's, better, it's time to start listening. Listen to what you're telling yourself, whether good or bad. It's time to move on. I see a transformation here, a new beginning, a new beginning. After you let go of the past. So anyway, I feel like this is a day or a week or whatever, whenever this resonates, of letting something end that is going nowhere. And following your truth. Investing in yourself. Talk to you later.